That's what I'm talking about! The Hobbit, the desolation of Smaug. Yeah, in Tolkienese, A-U is owl, like Sauron. Or Smaug. Or Smaug. S yeah. Don't worry, no spoilers in this review. The spoiler review, that comes later. So The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug is part two of the Hobbit trilogy. And the first one, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, was a fun time. I had a couple of pacing issues with it, but all in all, I own it on Blu-ray. I watch it, and it's good. The Desolation of Smaug, though. Holy shit. I feel like this is more the tone that people wanted when they were going into the first Hobbit movie. This is next level shit how a sequel should be. You already had your character introductions done in the last movie, so this movie starts out exciting and relatively speaking holds it for the most part till the end of the movie, until you cut to credits. Because this is it, this is the thick of it. They're like, all right, we're going to the mountain and we're gonna take on the dragon Smaug. I mean, everyone still does a great job in their roles that they play in this movie. Martin Freeman is the best Bilbo they could have gotten ever. Ian McKellen still kills it as Gandalf the Grey. I personally like Gandalf the Grey over Gandalf the White because he's just, he's more fun. Smoking old Toby. Thorin Oakenshield is still the shit. He's much more Aragornish in this movie. They're like, become the king you're supposed to be. I'm like, I recognize that. He's like if Aragorn and Boromir had a kid. How can I not have like a man crush on that dude? Or dwarf crush. It would be a dwarf crush. And I say this movie's exciting, I, I really mean it is really exciting. You know that scene in the trailer you saw where they're all in the barrels and they're going down the river? I saw that in the trailer and I was like, all right, that'll probably be fun, but in the end, I feel like it was some theme park ride pitch for kids. No, not at all. That's one of the scenes I remember most vividly about this movie. That shit was awesome. It was exciting, a lot of stuff's happening. Arrows are going through heads in really cool stylistic kind of ways. Most of those props go to Evangeline Lilly and Orlando Bloom. I also thought I was gonna walk out of this movie going, all right, those two were completely shoehorned into this movie for the sake of them being in the movie. And they probably were, but I say, if you're gonna shoehorn something into a movie, make it memorable, make it badass. Guess what they were? Memorable and badass. I'm telling you, you gotta see it to know what I'm talking about. This dude is business. And I actually liked Evangeline Lilly's character also. There's a bit of interest going on with her and one of the dwarves. I get it, they're from two worlds and that's intriguing. It's more of a curiosity kind of thing, although she clearly wants to sit on his little dwarf face, but it's not done in a cheesy way and that's what I like about it. The only flaws I found in the movie are one, a couple of times the CGI looked a little CGI-ish. This is Weta, these are the CGI gods, but a couple of times I was like, that could have been cleaned up. And the soundtrack. I like the music in the movie as I'm watching the movie, but I didn't walk out of the movie going, I need to buy that soundtrack soundtrack and listen to it when I'm not watching the movie. An Unexpected Journey, I have that soundtrack. I listen to that soundtrack actively because there are a lot of tracks in there that I really like. And I felt like that the moment I stepped out of the movie for the first time. This movie, I stepped out and I was like, yeah, the music was good while I was watching it, but I don't have to put in the earbuds and just rock that shit right now. And there's one segment in the movie that does slow down. Now I thought about it and I was like, maybe it slows down relatively speaking because a lot of exciting shit happens in this movie. So when you get to Fish Town, it feels like it's boring, but it can't all be action. You got to slow down at some point. So I'm not gonna say that's a negative. It's just something I need to address. Well, folks, I'm gonna get right into it. Smaug the dragon. How is he? He's all right. <laughs> Holy shit, that dude was badass. He's not even a dude, he's a dragon, but he was so cool. I'm gonna remember this dragon for the rest of my life. That's right, Wicked Witch of the West, Balrog of Morgoth, Darth Vader, Voldemort, Smaug the dragon. I just like how he was made in the movie. He's enormous, he's articulate, he's evil, he's menacing, he's dominating. Voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch, and I will tell you right now, that is one big batch of cumber. Smaug did not disappoint me at all, and I'm gonna put some minds at ease here. For those of you who thought, oh, they showed him in the trailer and they shouldn't have done that, all this shit, part of the experience is completely ruined. It's not. You haven't seen anything yet. You haven't seen Smaug. I was scared. Like when Bilbo first sees him, you know what he feels like. Because we've all played an MMO or something where you round a corner and there's a big boss there and you pull him and you're like, ah, oh, that dude's red. I can't take him on all this shit. Get the fuck. It is like that. You see it in Bilbo's face and yours. You're making the same face Bilbo is making and these are not bad things. In the end, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug was great. It was exciting. It was fun. Fun. It had good themes to it. It does touch on the fact that there are other things out there. You don't need to have a ring. We all have a ring, a thing that can consume us. This movie touches on that. That's an important theme of life. Does it have a lot of things in this movie that are not in the book? Oh yeah, for sure. But I reached all the steps of acceptance on that fact a long time ago. But like I said, if a movie's gonna take license, make it cool and memorable, this movie did. I'm so glad I get to say this. I'm gonna warm up. <clears throat> My friends, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug is... Awesome-tacular.
Am I fanboying out right now? Absolutely. Doesn't mean it's not justified. I'm just saying, it is justified. So The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, have you seen it? Are you gonna see it? What did you think about it? I guess that last part wouldn't pertain to you if you haven't seen it yet. However, whatever your thoughts are, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.